guys, welcome to the Mako Charm. To know us is to love us. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Love ya. <sighs> what up, y'all? I'm back. So, I finally made it home. And, um, the two people that I was talking about, the vloggers, one of the channels is called Living with the Webs. And this is about, um, well, it's like a family vlog. And the girl, her name is Olivia. She has a boyfriend, baby daddy of three. His name is Gerard. And they have three kids, Ryan, Christian, and Robin. And I had came across them when I had started doing my overtime back in um, September, October. And I told y'all how I was, I was going to tell y'all how I had came across them. So it was when I was talking or when I was with my ex fiance and we were, I guess, trying to conceive, if that's what you want to call it. Um, and, you know, so I was, like, trying to track my cycle. I was trying to track my cycle and trying to count my ovulation days because I was never one to really keep a track of that. And then I had came across one of her videos because she was pregnant with her third, her third daughter, who is now I think she can right be like uh, six, seven months, something like that. But um, so I had started watching her. Oh my God, my pants! Y'all, I hate these wash machines over here. I just bought these damn pants too. Anyway, um, so I had started watching her, and I just thought that she was so funny. Like, um, she had a great aura about her. She was, you know, staying positive. I had liked the feel of her channel, and it was like I had watched one show or episode. I mean, show or episode. I had watched one of her vlogs, and I was just like, you know, instantly wanted to watch more so that whole day that I was at work I was just you know listening and watching here and there and um she would speak on like family topics she would just go through her day she was um a stay at home mom while her man you know set out to work she was on food stamps she got off of them being that her fan base with YouTube had got so big. And, um, yeah, she would vlog daily. So I always had, I was always looking forward to something from her. And, uh, so right now, I think she's at 60 some subscribers, six, 60,000 subscribers so she's now getting a check from YouTube and I can say this in all the time that I've been watching her like she hasn't switched up um I think she's a great mom to her kids they listen they're very well behaved um as far as with her channel I think it'll go far I know dealing with uh YouTube and you know having a, a audience look at you and rate you and you know based on your life and how you present yourself on a daily it can take a toll on somebody but she handles it well and I know that she's you know human too and everybody everybody can get upset based on what somebody might think that you are we're all human you know what I mean but, you know, she'll say what she has to say, but she takes it with a grain of salt. Um, so, I don't know. She's She does, like, uh, 
if she goes shopping, like she'll take the viewers inside the store. That girl, she shops. I mean, she go to Walmart. She go to Target. She be going to Ross. She be going to, uh, what is that, BJ's? Good grief. I ain't never seen nobody go BJ's so much. But, um, yeah, her channel is called Living with the Webs. If I can, I'll insert it in one of my things, and y'all should check her out. She's actually, I've actually, um, gotten in touch with her because she does she has um what the hell is that uh what the hell is it it's um a uh, instagram so i had messaged her on instagram and i'd be damn if she ain't sent me a message back and i thought that was cool and what i was trying to do um, before I had, you know, started doing this video, I had reached out to her again and was asking how she had felt about somebody doing like a positive review on her channel. But I guess because like her numbers have, you know, went up to the extreme, she's, um, she doesn't get back to everybody like she used to. So, um, nothing but positives. Olivia, nothing but positives. I enjoy your channel. I feel like, girl, when I'm uh at home or at work watching, I just need me some popcorn, and you know I'm guaranteed a laugh. I enjoy watching y'all. Oh man, um, as far as the other one, <laughs> this guy uh. His name, or his his channel, he goes by the Trey King Show. And like I said, what he does, he reports, like, his subscribers. They'll send him uh, articles and, and news that's been broadcasted, and he'll look into it. And what he'll do is he'll put together, like, it's not even a skip, but he just gives his view on the things that's going on he is so funny he's uh he's very humble and i mean i could just watch his videos back to back because i started watching him around the same time that i've watched uh living with the webs those are the main two but um he'll talk about uh what was the Oh, everybody know the the guy that had like the the big old thick wide neck. He was talking about him. <laughs> he was cracking jokes. Oh shoot, that's good. He was cracking jokes about him, but also reading, you know, the reason why he had came up on his radar. And um, I don't know. He's just he's just funny. I highly recommend y'all turn tune into him is the the trey king show t-r-e-y trey king i'm uh i'm trying to get these clothes out the way and then i'm gonna take a shower i don't know what the hell is going on it seems like I don't even know if y'all can see. Something done bit my ass again. Can you see a little knot? Last week, y'all, I got bit. You probably can't even see that. I got bit on my hand. All this was, like, swollen. And I had a line that was going all the way down here. You probably can. I don't know. But they was like, Ebony, what is going on? And I was like, I got bit outside. Something had bit me, and then the few weeks before, I got bit right here on my face. I got bit on my arm and on my hand, and I'm like, what? I need to switch up lotion or something, because, I mean, everything is just attacking my ass. <clears throat> I don't know what the hell, but I don't like being bit. I don't like bugs. I keep it clean up in here. 
and whatever is biting me needs to get the hell away or start biting somebody else. Back to the drawing board tomorrow. I can't believe how fast the weekend goes. And you know what? On days like this, when it's um, when it's like rainy outside, they was talking about we supposed to be getting some more snow. When I left from my mother's house, it started um sleeting a little bit. And when I was going outside to get the clothes, it was raining. And I'm just over this weather. I want it to be sunny. I'm ready to start traveling on the weekend my um sister she planning on her her kids and the kids father they supposed to be going to miami like this month and i'm like highly considering just just going i want to get away because they talking about one degree weather here and I want to put on some shorts for a second you know what I mean we shall see I'm going to talk to my sister I'm going to tell her run the info for the flight in the hotel and um, let me know what the numbers is because I want to go and I want to say this to whoever is listening since I became a free bird and I'm not talking about uh, relationship wise or nothing like that just wanting to uh, venture out you know what I mean because the world is so big so if you have the means or even if you can just make it possible, I just say go see and do as much as you can. We are only on this earth for a hot second. And how things are going now, y'all know this world is getting ready to turn to some straight. You know what? It is already at the point that it already is some straight, you know what? But. Like I had told y'all earlier, I just live day to day. I try not to stress. Try not to. I just need to, um, yeah, I just try not to stress, stay mellow when I can, because I know how I can get, like, I don't know, I guess since, like, um, December, I've developed anxiety like here and there and that's really not a good feeling at all because it will seriously take a toll on you but just um we only on this earth for a short period of time just enjoy do you know do what's gonna make you happy and it's okay to spoil yourself you know what i mean i am I can say that I'm blessed to have been places that I've never thought that I would ever go. You know, even if that's like traveling out the state or, you know, I've been out the country, I've been on the island. It's, you know, it's just a beautiful thing to go, you know, different places and to experience different culture I take that in I enjoy you know and as well as for my baby because um who's to say when my last day on this earth is going to be who's to say when her last day you know and that's why I try to um embrace all that I can as well now I know that uh, 
Oh, shoot. I might have my little ups and downs because, I mean, hell, I'm a woman. And, you know, not only that, we're all um, emotional. We all have different phases of feelings and stuff like that. But, um, you know, everybody is entitled to feel how they feel. That's just, you know, normal. That is what it is. But, you know, just... I've learned within, I'll say, the last two years, oh, man, because I've endured so much. I, um, I've learned to overcome any obstacle before me. I've definitely learned to forgive others, even when you just think that is no way possible I've learned I've learned that you know I'm a very forgiving person I'll cut your ass out to the T first and then I'll uh, you know I guess meditate or whatever the words you want to call it over the situation but it's just something in me that won't allow hatred um, or grudges now to linger because all that does is just <clears throat> you know what I mean it's, it's not good for the soul so I would say definitely you know whatever you're going through in life just you know forgive tell everybody that you love them do all that you can but at the same time do not let nobody take advantage of you I had to learn that too. Definitely had to learn that. And that was something I've dealt with for the longest because, like I said, I'm so easy. I'm so easy to forgive. Like, I've been through so much good, bad, ugly. But. You know, I try to remain humble. I, you know, it's just not in me to be or to stay ugly. You know, I try to give when I can. I, um, I just try to do what's right. I want to instill, um, goodness in people. I want people to smile. I want people to laugh. You know, I mean, despite. And, you know, ain't I would love for somebody to, you know, turn that around and and I need to hear that from time to time. Because, like I said, we're all human. We all go through a array of emotions and, you know, most times, the person that's giving off the positive, 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 y'all don't know is going through something serious in life, too. And, you know, it's okay for you to instill some positivity in them. Because you just, you never, you never know what a person is going through. Never. Never, never, never. So, love everybody. Show love in return. Don't let nobody take advantage of you. Mommy. Yes, pumpkin head. Mom, does this look flexible? Does this look flexible? Hold on, hold on. Get off of my clothes. What are you doing? Sorry. Now, how may I help you? Oh, look. Is this flexible? Is this flexible? Mm hmm. What's your on the balance beam? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 10 flexible kids. Are oh, you drawing them? Yeah. Oh. You get ready to draw that math, too. Oh, no. Yeah. But, um, just treat people how you want to be treated. Now, some people, that's impossible for them to do. 
them the ones that you need to just separate yourself away from if you can because that negativity ooh I can't do it it turns me into uh, it's just it's a straight turn off I cannot be around that cold up in here too so anyway y'all I just be rambling I don't know I need it um like when this weather get right oh we we not gonna be in the car we not gonna be sitting down folding up some laundry listening to some John Legend used to love you we gonna be out and about like y'all gonna be seeing some things with me. I can't so I'm almost finished doing these clothes I just told baby girl what girl me what you want huh what you want me? Yeah, what are you telling me for? Are we to... Huh? Are you having fun? That's my answer. That's my question. What, folding your clothes and mine? No, I said, are you having fun? I so... I mean, ain't nothing fun about folding clothes. Um, you used to love me. You used to? Yes. You don't love me no more? You little chicken head. I said just kidding. Yeah. Huh? Mm hmm. For real, I'm just kidding. Yeah, okay. That's cool. Huh? I'm going to wrap this up, y'all. I, um. 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 I'm going to edit the. You know what? Out of this video. Some of y'all done probably fell asleep. Because I know for damn sure I would already cut this off. But for those who continue to watch, I appreciate y'all. Because you don't have to. But, uh, I will say thank you to my subscribers for tuning in to us. Like I said, tune in for more. We're not always going to be in the house or in the car. We're going to be out and about. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Thank y'all for liking and sharing my videos it is greatly appreciated to my family I love y'all so much to the strangers watching I love y'all so much um, we are just gonna spread positive vibes so I'm spreading that y'all way tomorrow is Monday if y'all going to work tomorrow Think positive, positive, positive. We are going to have a wonderful week. Tell somebody you love them. Give somebody a hug. And stay true to yourself. Oh, it's my song. Stay true to yourself. See ya. Don't you pity me, no, no, just pray